Hi, uh, I've just found something quite exciting living in the water pot. So I'm just standing in front of my greenhouse and to my left, down the back of it, is, is a water pot that catches the rainfall off the roof and I use it for watering the plants. And this year I've put a load of comfrey leaves in to make some comfrey tea, which is, is a really good, uh, you know, well, alternative to artificial fertilizer to put on your tomatoes and pot plants and so on. They really love it, grow like crazy. Anyway, something's living in there. Uh, let me show you. I'm just gonna flip this round and let's go in here. It's a bit of a jungle, but then most of my garden is a bit of a jungle. Let's fight our way through to the water butt. And look what's going on inside here. So, that, you can see on the surface, there are some white maggots. Uh, they're rat-tailed maggots, or long-tailed larvae, as Ellie Rotheray likes to, he's a big hoverfly fan, likes to call them. But what you might not immediately realise is that this stuff here, those are, that's a forest of tails. There are thousands more larvae beneath the surface. Probably mostly Aristalis drone flies of one sort or another. But uh, all feasting on the bacterial soup that I've made inside this barrel. I'm slightly worried that they're not going to easily get out. There is a, an overflow at the side there. But when they want to pupate, they climb out of the... They need to be able to climb out and pupate on dry land. So I'm going to have to put some sticks in to give them some way of clambering out of here, but uh, hopefully I'm going to have an awful lot of adult hoverflies around the garden very soon. Look at that, I'll just shut up for a second and you can just look at, all, look at them all wriggling. Fantastic. So you can deliberately make hoverfly lagoons um, to cater for these creatures. I've made a YouTube about it previously, where normally they're much smaller than this, um, but clearly the hoverflies taking advantage of this big water butt full of rotting comfrey. Delicious. Well that was fun wasn't it? Okay, see you next time. If you're interested in more similar content then subscribe to my YouTube channel or you might be interested in one of these various books I've written about bumblebees and other insects and how to look after them in your garden and more broadly, and the newest one, Silent Earth, which is all about how we can avert the insect apocalypse.